What does prayer mean to you? And how often do you pray? Most of the time, people get so caught up in this world that they forget the whole purpose of prayer. It is not about asking God to bless you alone. Prayer is a chance for you to worship and communicate with God. Prayers offered to God at any time, including at the midnight hour, will work. However, prayer between the hours of 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. is the darkest and most demanding part of the night, especially at midnight. Witches, warlock, and satanists start their incantation during this part of the night. The devil operates at this time because this is the time men are in a deep sleep and there are not as many people praying to oppose him. Paul and Silas serve as an example of brethren who received a breakthrough because of midnight prayers. Acts 16 verse 25, Bible says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. You can provoke God with fearful praises at midnight like David and Paul. It is a time to release from every spiritual prison. When you utilize the mystery of midnight prayers, it will initiate the earthquake of deliverance that will set you free. As a believer, it is your understanding of God that largely shapes your prayer life and the likelihood of receiving a breakthrough. So if you see God as a father, you can be able to take your pleas and petition before him confidently. But if you misunderstand the nature of God, prayer becomes a burden. An active prayer life helps you connect with God. There are many reasons why prayer at midnight are essential. You draw closer to God as a child of God. You will only do this by following his word and praying. Prayer helps you get rid of negative habits. When you focus on God and his word, you are more likely to want to live a life that is pleasing to him. In the process, you can be able to overcome temptations and habits that are not in line with God's commitments. Also, as you pray, and evaluate your life, you'll be able to take a look at your life and ask for forgiveness. Prayer helps you to deal with the enemy. Ephesians 6 verse 12 states that our battle is against spiritual forces. As such, the Bible urges us to stay in the Word of God. Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 18 tells us to be alert and pray all the time. Prayers enables breakthrough in your life. If you need midnight prayers, testimony, and breakthroughs, refer to the book of Acts chapter 16. Also, there are other instances in the Bible where people receive breakthrough because they sought God in prayer. So go on your knees and present all your worries and expectations to God. When you pray at midnight, God will hear your pleas for mercy, for grace, and blessings. You will be able to know what God wants and expects of you. Also, you will learn about all the promises God made for His children. When you pray at the midnight hour, do not be afraid to tell God how you feel. In Psalms 141, David cries out to the Lord to shield him from his enemies and temptations. When you pray at midnight, remember your breakthrough is depending on God's timing. Therefore, when you act according to God's purpose, He will surely answer. When you pray at midnight, do not just pray once. Make seeking God part of your daily life. The Bible encourages Christians to prioritize the kingdom of God, then you shall receive all you need. Luke 12 verse 31 also in Hebrews 11 verse 6 reminds believers that God rewards those who seek Him tirelessly. The Bible says, But without faith it is impossible to please Him. But he who comes to God must believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Psalms 119 verse 62 says, At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee, because of thy righteous judgment. Job 4 verse 20 says, They are destroyed from morning to evening, they perish forever without any regarding it. The stronghold of the mighty can be destroyed at midnight. Exodus 11 verse 4 says, And Moses says, Thus saith the Lord, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank and praise you for your marvelous wonders. I thank you for this brand new day of prayer and praises. I will bless your name at all times, and my lips will speak of your works. I will praise you, Lord, for this is where my help and strength comes from. When situations and circumstances that comes against me, I will praise and worship the Lord my God. When I go through these storms of life, please surround me with your angels who are the messengers sent forth to protect me. I thank you, Lord, that I am also covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, and no weapon that is formed up against me will prosper. My mouth will continue to praise to you when I wake up in the morning, do my daily routines, and before I fall asleep at night, I will do this endless praise as long as there is breath in my body, I will praise you. 
I confess that my strength comes from my mighty power within the Lord. I put on all of your armor, God, so that I can stand safe in you and against all the strategy and tricks of Satan. I know I am not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against persons without bodies, the evil rulers of the unseen world, those satanic beings and great evil princes of darkness who rule this world against huge numbers of wicked spirits in the spirit world. I take and use every piece of your armor, Father, to resist the enemy whenever he attacks, so that when it is over, I will be standing up. I take the strong belt of truth, your truth about me, my situation, truth in all areas and every aspect of my life, in the lives of those in my family and those I am in contact with. I stand against the lies that the enemy will tell me and those I tell myself. I choose to live in your truth, God, your word, and your power. I will not sit in the tent of the enemy one more minute. I put on and wear the bracelet of your approval. I wear the clothes of righteousness that I have in you, Jesus Christ. I take off the filthy rags that the enemy put on me and those I put on myself. And I take the robes of righteousness that were bought and paid for by you, Jesus, for me and put them on and stand up straight in the wholeness and cleanness, dignity, and acceptance that is mine in you, Jesus. I take the bracelet of your approval of me, Father God. I take the shoes of the gospel of peace so that at all times I will preach the good news of peace with God. Help me see the opportunities you have placed before me and give me the boldness to speak for you. I ask for the gospel of peace to reign in my life. Give me the peace that passes all understanding. Father, I am in a battle every day for my mind and my emotions. My fate is attacked by the fiery arrow aimed at me by Satan. I take the shell of fate that is mine. I choose faith in the one who gave himself for me, in the one that loves me with unfailing love, in the one true God, the one who holds everything together and who has a plan for my future and hope. Faith in the victory that is mine in him, faith that only the war is the Lord's, but the battle as well. I wear the shield in confidence and also, I hide in the wings of my Savior who cover and surround me and who surround the evils that surrounds me. I take the helmet of salvation, I am eternally saved and secure in Christ. I am saved from eternal damnation, and I am saved and freed from the bondage of sin in my present life. I am saved from fear. I take that salvation that is mine, for the Lord is not giving me a spirit of fear. I take the sword of the Spirit, your word, Father. Thank you for it. I will use it to defeat the enemy in my life. Thank you for the words of truth and victory that you have given me to use in my defense. I offer myself to you as a prayer. I choose to be in prayer during my days and nights so that I will hear from you and you will know my every desire, my fear and joy that you will be my life. Teach me to ask in the Holy Spirit so that I will be confident in my prayers. Teach me to fight in you, Father. Heavenly Father, I ask that every altar of poverty in my place of birth, working against my prosperity, burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every satanic priest ministering against my prosperity in any evil altar, I command you to die tonight in the name of Jesus. Every strength and power of every environmental altar upon my life, I destroy you tonight in Jesus' name. Today I raise an altar of continuous prosperity upon my destiny in the name of Jesus. Every strong role of mental and spiritual poverty in my life, be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus. Any confidence in my life that is strengthening the stronghold of poverty, break in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold of poverty in the place where I am living now and in the place of work, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. O Lord, create opportunities for my prosperity today in Jesus' name. I bind and I cast every negative word enforcing poverty into my life in the name of Jesus. Spirit of stinginess, disappear from my life tonight in Jesus' name. I bind and I cast out the spirit of disobedience in the name of Jesus. Every evil powers against my prosperity, I destroy you tonight in the name of Jesus. I destroy by fire every weapon of poverty targeted against my life in the name of Jesus. Every descendant of poverty in my life fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every evil power sitting on my prosperity, I command you to somersault and die in Jesus' name. Every remote control mechanism fashioned against my destiny be consumed by fire in Jesus' name. I break every cauldron of poverty in my life in the name of Jesus. You strong wall of poverty receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. I break off from every inherited poverty in the name of Jesus. 
every stigma of poverty in my life be robbed off by the blood of Jesus. Every power just in my life into poverty fall down and die in Jesus' name. I shall not adjust into poverty in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, adjust my life into prosperity in the name of Jesus. You network chains of failure rattling my life, melt by fire in the name of Jesus. You anchor failure, keeping my destiny, break in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual chain of slavery upon my life, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every chain of inherited failure upon my life, I break you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Let every evil seed of generational poverty dry up in the name of Jesus. I command every stronghold of inherited poverty in my life to be pulled down by the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost arrest on my behalf tonight every spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. I dismantle every demonic opposition to my prosperity in the name of Jesus. Every satanic river of poverty and failure clear off by fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Every altar of poverty prepared by my ancestors break now in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft assembly in my neighborhood be scattered by the Holy Ghost fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the stubborn strongmen of poverty in my place of birth be paralyzed tonight by fire in the name of Jesus. Every territorial spirit working against my prosperity be chained tonight in the name of Jesus. Every covenant made at my birth in the place of my birth break tonight in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft covenant of poverty affecting my prosperity Break in Jesus' mighty name. Every covenant of poverty made by the living or the dead against my prosperity, I break you tonight in Jesus' name. Hear, O heavens, I am dead to the covenant of poverty tonight. I am alive to the covenant of prosperity in Jesus' name. Every error of poverty far into my life, come out, come out now in the name of Jesus. Every curse of poverty placed upon my family be consumed by fire tonight in Jesus' name. Every curse of poverty far into my life by household wickedness, go back to your senders tonight in Jesus' name. As a result of prosperity prayers, I receive the mandate to enter into covenant of wealth in Jesus' name. O Lord, empower me to pluck the seed of wealth that will swallow poverty in my life in Jesus' name. From today, my portion in life has changed from beggar and borrower to a lender and giver in Jesus' name. Every sponsored dream of poverty by house or wickedness against my life, I command you to vanish in Jesus' name. Every satanic banker representing me in the spirit world, I command you to fall down and die in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil bank established against my destiny be liquidated by fire tonight in Jesus' name. Every Egyptian poverty, I shall see you no more in Jesus' name. I command the thunder of God to break into pieces all satanic arrows of poverty fired into my life tonight in Jesus' name. Every foundational arrow of poverty be removed by fire in Jesus' name. I paralyze all inherited arrows of poverty in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, shield me against any arrow of poverty fire against my life in the name of Jesus. Every cage of poverty roast to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every satanic barrier designed to hold me back from my desired portion be shattered to pieces tonight in Jesus' name. Every instrument of failure working against my investment, I command you to fail in Jesus' name. Let every evil decree working against my potential be revoked in the name of Jesus. I remove by fire every mark of poverty in my life in the name of Jesus. My life, my business reject all marks of poverty tonight in Jesus' name. Every power of the quadrant raised to manipulate my destiny release me tonight in the name of Jesus. Every spirit behind my family quadrant working against my progress be paralyzed tonight in the name of Jesus. Any quadrant of household wickedness designed to strengthen my poverty in my life break in the name of Jesus. I break loose my future, my finances, and my health from the domination of witchcraft cauldron. Every evil hand that carried me when I was a baby, I roast you by fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Any dead program to put me into poverty be cast away in the name of Jesus. I recover my placenta from the cage of the wicked people in the name of Jesus. I receive divine direction in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, give me divine revelation in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let your glory overshadow every work that I do in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and disgrace any trap of poverty in my family in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and scatter every trap of poverty in my life in the name of Jesus. Every prayer point that I've prayed tonight shall be converted to testimony in my life tonight. In Jesus' name, to God be all the glory, amen.